Spade, if you don't mind, can I ask you a few questions while you're leaving here? Sure. Uh, if you will, I'd like you to tell us a little bit about what you're doing and why and so forth and who you're talking well, to outside. I notice you just, uh, uh, you just pulled out. The lines are free, right? Yeah, well, I just told the deckhand to let go of the lines. We're backing out of here now, heading down the river. I notice you have your hand on this, uh, what is this called? That's the control for the engine. Forward and reverse. You have him in reverse now. Huh? Yeah. Are you in constant communication with the engine room? Uh, yes, we are. Just a minute, I'm going to blow one whistle for back an hour top. Well, if you don't mind, Mate Kirshner, I'm going to step outside and uh, watch our progress. Okay, I'll see you in a few minutes. I just noticed that we passed the uh, B&O, Locust Point Coal Pier, Procter and & Gamble, and here comes the captain, Jimmy Farron himself. Hi, Ed. Hiya, Jim. Uh, Ralph, we going down and get a ship arriving called the Herman. She's supposed to arrive at 345. She's going to the east side of 5 B&O. When, when we get there, Put two lines up on the port bow and lay well up. Right up, Captain. Uh, Ralph, I'll take her. You've got work to do on your log, so here's the orders. Okay, Captain, I'll make that the bill. Captain, I was talking to the mate earlier regarding the speed of the uh, Sea Steward Lee, and he mentioned that right now we're traveling about eight, but she could do 15 knots. Is that yeah, uh, uh, last year, September the 12th, up in New York, uh, we were in that boat race, and uh, we were doing 15.4. Which, How'd you do? Uh, I think we won the race, but uh, for some reason or other, they give the race to a Navy tug, and uh, we had to let it stand at that. But uh, you feel that you did win, huh? I feel uh, myself that I did win. Uh, the fixture it showed and everything else, but it's just one of them things. Yeah, so I we know what you back, mean. We come back to Baltimore as a second, but uh, we still think we won the race. I notice we're passing Fort McHenry now. Yeah. We're passing Fort McHenry, and I'm going down here now uh, to pick up a ship going to the east side of 5B. No. It is through the civic spirit and cooperation of these outstanding Baltimore industries and merchants that this series, The Point That Built a City and State and Serves the Nation, is brought to you for the seventh successive year at this time, 3.30, every Sunday afternoon. The port that built a city and state was originated and produced by Miss Helen Bielich, maritime editor of the Baltimore Sun. Narrated by George Rogers. And directed by Ray Ratajak. <laughs>